What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC, head of the Experimental Research Division here at the Kerbal Space Program. Today we are continuing day 28 of our multi-day, multi-week adventure here at the Kerbal Space Program, and today is a kind of a mundane video. It's just something a user suggested, and I thought I'd give it a try. It's nothing too exciting. We have our reusable spacecraft, our discovery-like plane thing, and we are going to take it to the moon. Now, the moon has no atmosphere, so you can't... I can't glide it in like a plane to land it on the, on the lunar surface, so we're going to use a combination of RCS and liquid fuel rockets to sort of break it into a position and then hopefully lay it flat on the wheels and just sort of hopefully gently touch down, land, maybe get out, do some science, and use RCS and liquid fuel to fly back. That's the goal, anyways. So whether or not that actually occurs is going to be a different story. So let's uh, let's launch this fucker and see what happens. Speed's coming on good. This is a great looking craft. It's ultra efficient so far. I'm a little concerned with how the fuel is going to come off. There's a little bit of asparagus staging, but not a ton. Okay, so we're like 30% done that already. Okay, it looks like, okay, good. Our boosters will empty first, which is, that was my concern, was that the orange tanks were going to empty right around the same time as these bigger white tanks. We'll call the orange ones booster stage A and the other one's booster stage B. Now A is about to run out. Good. What we've got is a system of parachutes on the bottoms. That should drag them straight down. Let's see. Yep, perfect. That may also salvage the tanks because they'll glide gently down to Earth, we might actually be able to reuse those someday. We can recover them. And that way they don't cost a ton of science. All right, so we're down to our last little bit. This is the disconcerting stage. This is the one I'm worried most about. Again, I've got parachutes designed to hopefully... Nope, did not work. Okay, whew. Our, our engine actually destroyed a bit of their tank system, and the parachute didn't work, so I know for next time, don't bother. Just try and make sure that the separated stages pass each other. That's all that matters. We're going to begin our rollover. It's very high, but we're also going to shoot a pretty big orbit. We're going to match about a quarter million to the ISS and then throw for the moon. The moon Try and get this thing back to equatorial, 90 degrees. I'm going to overcompensate to about 93 or 94 just to bring it back square. There we go, and back to 90. There we go, a few toggles of the SAS. And we're good. So now we just got to boink this orbit. Where is the moon? Basically right behind me. Okay. All right, so we will have to make a bit of an orbit. It's always nice if the moon is... If the moon was, like, around here, we could literally just shoot out. And that's that's what NASA would want to do, but that's not how we play the game. I like to make sure we're in daytime and that we're launching into daytime, and, you know, so you guys can actually see what's going on. I don't mind using a little more fuel than I have to. You know, it just makes for a nicer video. Doesn't it? I think you agree. You're watching it. You've watched until now. Sucker. All right. We're at 120 so far. Should probably push this guy over some more. So we want to start. We want to start making this thing, like I said earlier, equatorial. Equatorial is, of course, the equator. We want this thing to be circular and at the equator. 
Those are my prerequisites for an orbit. Any other orbit is just uncivilized. All right, that's definitely high enough. But yeah, to save fuel, let's just do a 164 because it really doesn't matter how far we go. as long as we go. Putting on a bit of fuel to help turn this thing around. Give it a little bit of throttle. And we're punching it. Toggling SAS at 90 degrees, equatorial. Perfect. We're a little, we're a tiny bit northernly, so I could actually go is it this way? Yes, I think. Nope. It was definitely the other way. Oh shit, we're falling. So let's just, let's not worry about the orbit right now. Because we really just want speed right now. <laughs> Okay, we are fixing the error we just made. Slowly fixing itself. We should get periapsis any second. Okay, there, I think we fixed our mistake. So we're gonna go back to 90. Went past 90, there we go. Perfect. All right. Good enough. Yep. That is literally, literally good enough. Ironically, we're going to go out to Apoapsis, which is good because the farther away you are from the Earth, of course, the less gravity. So your units of fuel can actually go a little further. It's easier to attain fuel efficiency. when you're at apoapsis. Let's do a maneuver and just see if we can make this just simply. Nope, okay. So we're gonna shift to the right. Shifting, 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 shifting. That's weird. Maybe it's way out here. There we go, okay. <laughs> that was weird, I, I thought for sure it would have been somewhere back there, but no, it's way out here, okay. So we are going to, so we need an estimated burn of 40 seconds, no time in nine minutes. Perfect. Which one are we? Are we that guy? No, that's the ISS. Okay, good. We're the one in behind. ISS going right by the spot we need to be. All right. So we need to find a blue triangle, I believe. I think that arrow is literally pointing <laughs> to where we need to be now. I do like that. You know, if you're if you're new to the game, that's brilliant. You make a maneuver and then the blue arrow is like, psst, over here. And you're like, oh, I'm new to this game, so I wouldn't know which one of these little things on the radar is actually the thing I'm supposed to be going to. So I like how the game tells you that shit now. I just wish it would tell you more. I wish you could set in things like, I want to go to the moon, and it do a lot more of the, the data. Um, you know, in, in NASA and whatnot, they don't just they don't just put a pilot in who holds onto a joystick and shoots his ass up into space, you know. It's all it's all computer controlled and stuff. All right, burn time is in 10 seconds. Seven, four, three, two, one, burning.
Apoapsis is growing. I'm watching the burn, not Apoapsis. I'm watching all the stuff down here. This is the amount of time, basically, or sorry, the amount of speed that we need to shut off. The, the estimated burn time is ticking down how much time I have to burn for. Okay. So we're at, we're at a little bit of a rendezvous. No, we're not. No, we're way over here. Okay, fuck. We ran out of gas. We ran out of gas. That's what the problem was. So I'm going to cut the throttle. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. It really is irrelevant which stage happens at what junction. So we're back to burning. We just have another 140 meters a second more, about 250 miles an hour. 200 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour. There we go. I think I overshot just a hair. So what we're going to do, we're going to spin around and give a little burst just to correct the tiniest bit of overshoot we just did. Because I would rather it be a nice rendezvous rather than a possible near miss. There we go. All right, so we are good to go. I'm gonna delete our little maneuver. Beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna F5. There we go, got a quick save. We are going to zip out there. Getting our approach sorted out. Okay, and our braking burn is literally right here. That's nice, thank you game. It's a little nerve wracking. As easy as a, miss as a mission this is, my brain is just toiling with how we're gonna land this thing. <laughs> I, assume, I assume get about five feet off the ground, nose up, you know, stall, and then just slam the nose down. I, I presume that's how it's going to go. It's either going to go or explode. One of the two. All right, we are just breaking, trying to sculpt this blue line. We want to see this blue line start to curve, and you can see it is starting to curve inward, and eventually it should snap into a circle. You can ignore this orange circle. That's the hypothetical, if the moon wasn't here, where would we be going? Type arc. But our blue line is our actual path of least resistance. Gonna bring it down to about 100. Not that it matters too much. Sure, perfect. All right, and once again, we're just gonna fast forward in there. We're going to get in it, get in this orbit, shut off some speed and sculpt it, and eventually try and put it down in the light side, obviously. We need to be able to spot our shadow. Okay, good enough. How much RCS do we have left? Not a whole lot. Shit. Because RCS is going to be our friend when we're trying to land. There we go. We're going to do a lot more maneuvering with SAS from now on, just to try and conserve some of this. Some of this. And do a full break. 100,000. We want that to say about the same. Give or take, it doesn't matter too much. This, the closer you are, obviously, the faster you'll go. That's a bit of a problem. All right, we're just gonna zoom ahead into the light side. Good enough. Let's go a little farther, just in case. I don't wanna be in the shade. I wanna be in the, 
in the light side for sure. That should do. Alrighty, we're gonna spin around so we can break. Let's do a save. Here we go. How's everybody doing? Everyone's doing good, everyone's fed. Who do I have with me here? Do I have a bunch of noobs with me? Yep, a bunch of new guys, all right. Usually it's, you know, the standards. Bill, Bob, Jebediah. Not today though. Today we've got a, a fresh-faced crew of youngsters partaking on this particularly difficult mission. We can place bets how they're gonna do. I'll give you two to one odds that they live. Come on, get to center, get to center. There we go. Again, not that it matters. You don't have to be super precise once you're landing. We're gonna put down somewhere in here. That looks fairly flat, right? I guess. There really is no flat place, so we're just going to put down wherever. Let's do a save. How much fuel do we have left? We have tons of fuel left, so this is going to be our main descent stage. Um, what we can do now is get the uh, craft ready, just for the sake of conformity. I don't want to have to do that when we're trying to land. Okay. Okay. Everything is locked. Unfold the wings. Beauty. Perfect. All right, we're going to lock the wings. There we go. Just double check. Disengage locks. Perfect. All righty. Okay, so do another save now that everything folded out nicely. Did I bring anything with me? Is there anything in here? Nope. No kerbals or anything? Nope, good, okay. Because now would be a good time to dump any payloads we have, you know, while we were in an orbit. I could probably get back up to speed and then dump whatever payload we had and then re-brake again, but you know, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. We're gonna put our butt to the wind. There is no wind in space. Well, there is solar wind, that's that's different. If you don't know what solar wind is, you could, you could look up the Wikipedia page on that. It's interesting stuff. But there's no wind in space. Do not put that on your grade 8 science paper. <laughs> you will fail. Let's just do a test of our landing gear. Check. Checkity check check. In fact, we could put it down now. But we won't. <laughs> rip, 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 rip. Okay. Chicky, chicky. Going to space. Okay. Era, era, no one hears you scream in space. DJ High Altitude coming in. We might have fast forwarded a little too much. Let's see. I'm going to break actually up a little bit. So not just perfectly into the wind like so, but I actually want to be nose up a little bit. Because that will sort of try and keep it off the ground, I think. Actually, you know what? This thing is really efficient at braking. We just lost like half that speed in lickety snap no time. So we could actually just shed off the speed and fall straight down. So let's do that. Let's shut off all this speed. Basically, gonna we're going to push that yellow circle up towards the top. And if it's right at the center dead top, that means you're falling straight down. That's what we are going to do. Push a little this way. Boink! There we go. Okay, we're falling straight down. A little F5 quick save. <laughs> going to do a lot of those with this mission because who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Okay, we are pointed straight down. Beautiful. Where's the sun? Sun's there, so our shadow is... is not existent yet. No, I don't see it. So it has not spawned in because we are too far away from it, I suppose. 
Let's put our landing gear down. Now is as good a time as any. How much mono propellant do we have left? Fuck, not a lot. All right, that's that's terrifying. But we should be good. Again, we got lots of fuel left, so we can pre pretty much stall, you know, 20 or 30 meters over the ground. Let's do this. Gonna do this and this. You can see our shadow. That's a good sign. Alright. We could probably ditch the main tank. Let's just pretty much stall out here. Here we go. Main tank is away. I repeat. Main tank is away. We want to begin our slow down. Oh shit. What in the fuck? What in the fuck? What in the fuck? What in the fucking fuck? Are we going to slam? <laughs> uh, it's a good thing we did a save. All right, let's uh, let's load. All right. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Basically, the control scheme just just went to hell. I you know, I'm throttling up and the thing is p like pitching nose forward. So we are going to do this a little different this time. We're going to basically put this thing down like so and then put the landing gear down and basically just have it fall over and while it's falling over that's when I'm going to decouple uh, the stages so hopefully this thing will just wheel onto the ground and basically just roll away. Let's do a little fast forward just to get a little closer. I don't want to have to shut off more than about 100 meters a second or so. So we're basically just going to leapfrog our way down there. So we're falling down, obviously. Gonna try and sort of match our speed. down. I'm using RCS to try and basically just blast this thing back to center. All right, there's downhill. That's where we want to go. I can't. I can't spin it. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm trying to basically just warble it. I'm trying to like lean it left, lean it right, lean it left, lean it right. And meanwhile, <laughs> I'm trying to spin it around. Yeah, there we go. You got it. You got it. Every time it high centers up on an edge of the, the gas tank, it can spin like a top just a little bit. So we're going to basically just baby step it back and forth. Okay, what does it look like that way? No, we definitely want to be falling or uphill. Oh, we should have fallen uphill. That would have been just as good, if not better. There we go. 
Oh, please don't fall that way. Please don't fall that way. Whew. That would have sucked. That would have sucked so much cock. All right, I'm going to save. Oh, I shouldn't have saved right there. Because it's getting its lean on. All right, now we're going to fall it over like a tree. Like a tree. Landing gear is down. Breaking, 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 breaking. Did we do it? Did we do it? I think we did it. Nothing looks broken. Everything looks legit. RCS works? How much RCS do we have? A lot. Oh my god. Guys, we did it. <laughs> we fucking did it. That's right. Whew. It took it took a single load, which is fantastic. I try not to load at all, but one is fine by me. Okay, so we're gonna quick save. Which which guy should we take out? Which one has the weirdest name? Burden? Gregvis? Danbin? We're gonna take little Aldbis. Aldbis? Weird name. Alright, we're gonna get him some science. Because we might as well, since we're here. EVA report and surface sample. I, I don't plant flags anymore because they show up on the map annoyingly. And if you plant one every time you go anywhere, Jesus, you're gonna have like, I'd have like 200 uh, flags out, sorry. Flags. Yeah, don't, don't plant a flag every time you go somewhere. It's just gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, um, so we can begin our return mission home. That's easier said than done. Uh, we are going to have to turn around. Let's get some steering. Unlock steering. Oh, guy, guy. Unlock steering. Okay. F5. Which way do we have to go? Oh, not that way. Oh, not that way. Can the RCS push it? Nope. In fact, it's falling. There we go. We need to turn it around because so we have to face 90. So we're just going to drive this thing like a little moon buggy. Oh, I should turn off RCS so I'm not wasting precious RCS. So we're going to need that later, I'm sure. <laughs> Big, slow, tedious turn. Again, this is not at all what this thing was intended to do. All right, 90 is coming up. There is 90. Hmm. That hill's a bit disconcerting. Can we just, can I? I can almost just, it almost wants to lift its own weight. What if I did this? <laughs> I wanted to see if I could just pop it up. Uh, what if I did this? A little bit. I got a little bit of a hop. Nope. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to roll over to that hill. meters per second. We're going to slowly make our way over there. Let's put our steering back locked because I don't want to forget and not do it while we're trying to land. I can almost get that front wheel off the ground. We're so close. Okay, we're at a little plateau. It's going to lift. We're good. Oh, fuck. F it's a good thing we say. Yes, it is a fantastic thing that we saved. Just 
going to turn around to 90 again. I'm going to blame our lack of success today on the fact that all of our pilots are new. Now, let's try this again, shall we? We're just going to throttle up, pull back a little bit. hard on the RCS. <laughs> I am so hard on that RCS, but the gravity is keeping us here. Oh. There we go. We're <laughs> it's funny because we're kind of flying. We got the nose up and we're fighting gravity. hundred points of thrust almost aren't enough to get this thing off the ground, but it is climbing. <laughs> uh, this is adorable. Okay. It's almost like there's an atmosphere here, and it's almost like we're trying to fly out of this place. Look at that's where we came from. Isn't that sketchy? <laughs> we are basically falling. We're basically in a holding pattern, but we're gaining speed, and that's all that matters. The speed will turn into an orbit eventually. In the meantime, why don't I do some movie magic, and we'll try and get this thing on a return to Earth trajectory. How about that? How about we do that? Alrighty, guys. One second. We're basically out of RCS. And not doing so hot as far as SAS is concerned. The SAS demands aren't being met by the amount of SAS. Sorry, the SAS demands aren't being met by the SAS parts. Basically, we've got engines that are a little low on our center of mass. So it's got this funny pullback thing where it's kind of walking all over the place. But we're getting it sorted out. Little bit by little bit, we're getting it sorted out. Basically, if I just hold W the entire time and balance the thrust, I can keep this thing in the right position. Ten seconds left of the burn. We should be very close to a orbit. Beauty. Okay, we're gonna do a little F5 quick save. A little fast forward. Come on. Get that escape. Get that escape. Beauty. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this maneuver. There we go. We're going to go right to Apo. Close enough. And we're gonna break. Is this the right break? Nope, that's that's the acceleration side. We're gonna flip to the braking side. And once again, we're gonna baby this thing down because it has no RCS and it's a little bit out of whack. Perfect. All right, we're gonna 
apply a little bit of thrust while we try and keep it right in that spot. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Speed's coming off. Periapsis is very slowly creeping down. All right, why don't I do just the tiniest bit of movie magic so we'll be in a nice orbit and hopefully on a return trajectory. All right, guys, one second. All right, we are on a return trajectory to a point that I believe it'll come down pretty much right on top of the Kerbal Space Port. Worst case scenario, a few minor course corrections and we should be, uh, we should be good to land. So let's do a little fast forward here and just get a little closer. All right, we are below the 70,000 meter threshold. It is a little worrying that I can't see the Kerbal Spaceport yet, but we are in real time zoom level. All right, oh, they're all three of them. All four of them are ecstatic to be home. That's good to see, they're happy. They were obviously homesick. Reentry is getting a little rough. It's starting to hit tiny particulate bits of atmosphere. Beginning to get into the soupy lower level atmosphere. We can see the mountain ridge just up ahead. And just on the other side of that ridge, is the Kerbal Spaceport, KSP, Cape Curb Navarral. It's just starting to spawn in up ahead. We're starting to get our re-entry physics. Things are looking awesome under there. Let's go back into the zoom mode. Wow, that was a big dump. Tried to keep the nose up, but didn't want to. So we're just going to let it do whatever the hell it wants. Because it is coming in at a very nice angle. We're going to have to take control from here. There we go. We're going to have to use all three engines to retain some semblance of control. Because I know for a fact if I turn off those guys, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't fly very well. It flies, it kind of flies, but it flies a lot better. And there we go. With this extra vectoring, this little extra bit. So what happened was, between our previous models, what's different is, yes, I've added the folding wings and stuff, but no, that is not why we're having so many control issues. The reason we're having these control issues is the engines. My placement before was much closer to center, but because I needed to attach some decouplers, because of the decouplers and the structure that held this thing to the rocket, I had to move all these engines apart. And when I spread them, I spread them all away from the center of mass. So when you've got these two engines working and the center of mass is way up here, it's gonna push to that side. When you've got an engine way up here and the center of mass way down here, it's gonna push down. So between the three, we can get some semblance of control, but with any one particular engine type, it fails. It fails because, well, it doesn't have the necessary thrust to weight ratio, I guess. The center of gravity, the center of mass in the craft isn't where the center of thrust is. And if those things are offline, well, Shit's gonna get hairy. All right, we gotta shed some speed, or height, sorry. We gotta shed some height, because we're coming in. We got good speed. We're just coming in very, very high. So just like a real space shuttle, they always kind of do make a one last dip to build up some speed before they get their glide in approach. Here we go. I don't want to put the brakes on yet. Just simply because I don't want the front nose to slam. And we're going to 
gently put the wheels down boink, and begin our break very slowly I don't want the thing to wobble back and forth if you just slam on the brakes sometimes it'll lean left or right and sort of nose into the ground much like a toddler a drunken toddler on a tricycle so I'm just doing brake 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 slowing it down now we can go hard on the brake because we're a lot slower and guys I think we did it yep we fucking did it right on dudes so I hope you liked the video I hope you comment and sub on the video I hope you try and replicate the video I hope you know seeing this thing inspires you guys to build your own um, again if you want to know where I got these parts the movable parts you can check my last video I believe I linked it into the description it was day 20 it was either 27 or 26 one of the two I talk about the moving parts anyways guys until next time cheers